Good day guys, welcome to this Tuesday edition of the show where I report the latest in gaming news. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack the like button as always. And now let's get into our first news report of the day. And this is actually a two-parter, but first off, we'll get into the Xbox update coming out this month for May. Microsoft hasn't announced everything that's going to be coming out in this update, but they have revealed one cool thing. And that's that you'll be able to change the volume of snapped apps, which personally I find to be really awesome. Now, not all of you may use the snap feature on the Xbox One, but I do. I use it for TV, I use it for Twitch, I use it for party. So being able to finally change the volume is awesome because it was actually quite annoying that you couldn't do that. This update will feature a few other things that haven't really been announced by Microsoft yet, as I said, and it'll be rolling out over the next couple of weeks. Everyone's got a different date depending on where you live. Anyway, to the other Xbox news in the headlines, and it's that the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, has confirmed that Microsoft will announce a couple of things before E3. Now, E3 is in June, from June 10th to June 12th. Well, so I'm guessing a couple days before that we should hear some awesome things from Microsoft about the Xbox One and just the Xbox brand in general. Personally, I'd like to see something about Halo being announced. You know, maybe the next Halo game, I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see until then. But yeah, uh, let's get to the sad news now. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, today's sad news isn't really that sad unless you're still on the old consoles and you're looking forward to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Because if you are planning to purchase Advanced Warfare on the older consoles, being the PS3 and the Xbox 360, you won't actually have the exact same experience as the next-gen systems. Or should I say current-gen now? Yeah, that sounds better. Anyway, the news here is that it won't be developed by Sledgehammer games on the older systems. Because Sledgehammer are putting all their efforts into the Xbox One and PS4 version, they've got a different B team, I guess, working on the older consoles. So yeah, I guess that's kind of sad news, but most games do it these days. Look at Titanfall, look at a few other games. And uh, yeah, that's our sad news for today. But now, let's get to the big news. Big news! So, today's big news, we have three news reports to get to, and I just mentioned Titanfall briefly, and well, there is some news about Titanfall and its next DLC. As you guys may or may not know, the next DLC is named Expedition, and Respawn Entertainment have released a brand new batch of screenshots for this DLC pack. As you guys can see on screen, it looks pretty interesting, but personally, I'd rather get a different sort of DLC. Instead of a map pack, I'd rather see new titans and new weapons and things like that. But yeah, if you want to check out all of the images, I have linked them down below. But anyway, to our next news report of the day, and it's that the Watch Dogs install size has been revealed for the Xbox One. The Xbox One store listing has revealed that the install size will be 20.42 gigabytes in size. Now, I'm not sure, but there is also reports about the PC version being about 25 gigabytes in size. Additionally, there is no info about the PS4 version, but my guess is it's between 20 and 25 gigs, if I just use common sense. Watch Dogs will be available in a few weeks from now, so yeah, this is pretty cool news. Speaking of news, we get to our final news report of the day. It's about another big game that's not out just as soon as Watch Dogs, but it'll be out later this year, and it is Destiny. And what about Destiny? Well, the game modes for the game have been revealed in detail. The game modes will be Patrol, Bounty, Strike and Faction Wars. You guys can read about them on screen if you just pause right now. Personally, I'm excited to see Faction Wars and how that's going to play out. Now on a side note, you actually have to play Destiny for a couple of hours to even unlock Faction Wars, or technically just to unlock multiplayer. But this game does look pretty awesome, so I'm pretty sure a couple of hours will just breeze by. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gaming news. Hopefully you're informed. And now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks for man. Okay guys, the question is, if you could add any game mode to a random game, what would it be and why? So, put your answer down below in the comment section. You can up on the next show. Enjoy today's video. Make sure you smack the like button because I'm Chan Chong Max. It's Charlie here.